Mary, Mary's like, it's getting really hot really quick. It's like 60 degrees outside. We need to hurry. <laughs> well, we're sitting in the sun and the car is slowly warming up. Outside is not bad, but I'm starting to get really hot. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to Fred's because I, I have a list. Well, it's on my phone. <laughs> but I have a list of stuff. Um, I couldn't find my little shovel for my... We you know, planting my plants. I got them all planted anyway. Yeah. But... You see some... Gloves. Yeah, and then I want to price some dirt because I think I figured out a way to get some, uh, you know, veggies. So I've I've got three big huge bins. Oh, but the problem is filling them with dirt. Yeah, but I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on dirt. So yeah. dirt's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Potting soil. Yeah, I used to. They used to have a place over by the farmers market where you could, you know, you could fill a bin like that, and they charge you like ten bucks. You oh, know, was or that something. like peat? Yeah, it was peat. A peat pit. It was a peat pit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you could just fill a bin, and it, it they had topsoil and peat. But yeah, I don't know if there's any place like that anymore in town. There, um, I thought there was a place that was open, but then they closed for the season already. I don't, it was kind of weird, like, I don't know. Yeah, I think there was another place over off of Johansson by the Holiday Gas Station. Oh. There was a place back there, but they closed it to the public now because I think they're going to use a lot of that dirt for construction purposes in town. Uh. So there, yeah, they're supposed to build an overpass there in a couple of years. There's a lot of projects. There's, yeah. uh, I mean, there's, like, there's like little a, these <laughs> major companies that uh -huh. are working together, like Great Northwest and Cruise Construction are the two major ones that are working on like almost every project in town. I've noticed. Yeah. I was like, and then out of town. Like on mm -hmm. every wo roadway in Alaska, I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I mean, they're I guess they're big construction companies. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's crazy. I mean, they're doing so much. It's a little five five mile square foot town is starting to look like New York City uh, with all the not, road not projects and <laughs> overpasses and roundabouts and. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. I mean, just how much this city, Fairbanks, has changed. I mean, it used to be more like a town. Now it's more like a city. Although, I mean, people who actually live in cities who visit are like, oh, it's so, like, you know, spread out and there's not much here. <laughs> but, like, to us, it's grown a lot. Yeah. And that's another thing. If you come to visit, um, don't ask people if something's in walking distance because town is five square miles. Mm -hmm. According to them, everything is within walking distance. I mean, to me it is. I don't yeah. mind walking five miles to get somewhere. Right. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't take See, me that that's long. That's what I mean. You know, <laughs> you know if, if you walk five miles in one direction to go someplace and five miles back, you know, that's walking distance to, you know, Fairbanks. Is because a lot of people in town walk. They don't drive. Yeah. You know? That's why people get after me about Mary not having a license all the time. There's a lot of people in town that don't have licenses because you don't really need one to get around. Yeah, I get my exercise. <laughs> my yeah. my older sister um, doesn't want me taking the bus anymore because I've had some <laughs> some funny stories from that. Yeah. So <laughs> I, she's like, "You take it all the time in college, but I'm not letting you anymore." I was like, That's uh, funny. "Okay." <laughs> All right, we're going to go inside Fred Myers here and try not to spend a whole lot of money. <laughs> All right. Ready. See you there. Bye. <laughs> my umbrella. Oh, that's a lot more than I paid for it.
Oh, look. They got matching plates. Ooh, popsicles. Cute. Like, oh, these boy. These are kind of similar. Look, look at these, Mary. <laughs> She's always got to find the fun sunglasses. They're like mine, except they're like purple. Purple. You don't need any more. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jelly bellies. Oh, they got candy corns. I didn't know Jelly Bellies has candy corns. Round toothpicks. Such a dilemma. They're buy one, get one half price. And I only need one. Because I have one like this and I have one like that. But I need a little one like this. So I'm going to get two, I guess. Uh, Huh? I feel like the shelf's got power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the very top or something? Guess I'll get the big one. all the chairs and I bet it's like 500 bucks too <laughs> what's the price Mary Luna Luna that doesn't say this for 359 oh, do it again do it again. do it again we missed it she found a price checkery thing Right, it'll be right. Three fifty nine ninety nine. Oh, six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. But it went down to. It's on sale. To three hundred and sixty dollars. <laughs> 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 it's kind of shaky, huh? Oh, See, that doesn't have a price on it either. Hmm. It's 40% off too. It's regularly $430. $300. They got this gazebo here. $149.99. It's got like a little bar serving area on each side. Mary found him. Fourteen dollars. Good old Miracle Grow. They got different kinds now. I think I'm gonna try this and see if my marigolds come back. And that. $6.99. Little tiny throws. It's really hot in the office right now. I just need something small. Doggies need a new kiddie pool.
little tiny desk, fan, desk fans, battery and USB. Mary's gonna go look for a uh, price. Cause there's no price over here. She says $6.99. Okay, so that goes great for your fish. Your salad? Your veggies and your fruits? <laughs> 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 That's big. <laughs> Is it a shrimp? It's a lobster. <laughs> I don't know what a lobster is supposed to look like. I'm used to them being big. <laughs> Smile. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> $6.99. Oh, you can't see it. You can. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Your fingers are all sparkly from the lobster. So this week really got away from me, so I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen, but I think this Fred Meyer video is going to be a standalone video, um, and maybe we'll do some smoothie bowls <laughs> that we missed doing this week. So maybe that'll be on this video, maybe not. I'm, sh I'm sure we'll make it happen. But here's the receipt for Fred Meyers. It's we got the Miracle Grow and the Bloom Booster, and I should have got my dollar back because the Bloom Booster was uh, on special for seven ninety nine, but it didn't ring up that way. And then that little personal fan was nine ninety nine, three dollars off. And we got some toothpicks and a trowel, and and um, the watermelon was on sale, so. That was eight ninety nine, and um, oh, what's that other gadget? To oh, those are the um, I got those little spatulas. I got two of them. So yeah, they were thirteen ninety nine, but they were buy one get one half off. And strawberries, and then I got a tiny throw for the office, which actually worked out really well. I've been using it. Um, and then I got MCT oil, but I found something out about that MCT oil. Um, maybe I'll talk to you about it in a diet thing and nuts and seeds and all that stuff. Um, I am really, really looking at the keto stuff. That's the flax. But yeah, and keto... Um, starting out, they don't want you to do any kind of plant-based because you need to reset everything. So this is going to be fun. All right. Yeah, so the bottom line for Fred's was $141.06. <laughs> and we saved $25. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> Haven't been in this direction in a while with all the coats behind me. <laughs> yeah, we don't have room in our coat closet. So... So a lot of them just stay out here, you know, with the weird weather. We, uh, yeah, because there's some over here. We've been actually using some of them. I mean, not the heavy ones. We've been using these and, and the raincoat kind of thing. Yeah, so I was hoping to uh, go to Costco in this video, but uh, I did go to Costco, but I didn't go inside. Uh, I went on... Today is Saturday, so I went on Saturday, and uh, I was going to go through Costco, but things were just really weird. It was a really strange day, and, uh, you know, we were trying to get here, trying to get there, and things weren't happening the way we wanted to, so we kept changing plans, And um, but I wanted to at least make sure I ordered um, tires, because I plan on driving up... Uh, to the Arctic Circle. And I've never been there before, but I heard that the road is not really good and you gotta have good tires. And I do not want to take my Blizzaks up there because Blizzaks are soft rubber and um, 
and and then I'm going down to Anchorage anyway. So I want to get the Blizzax off the car and um, and get good you know all season tires on there for the summer. So oh, and say hello, Mary. She's getting all attacked by mosquitoes. Shut the door! Shut the door! <laughs> so we're trying to use the Arctic entry again. So. Uh, that way the mosquitoes get stuck in the Arctic entry. I keep going out there and killing them. I'll, I'll kill like three or four mosquitoes every time somebody goes in and out. So we're trying to keep that from happening in the front because I sleep downstairs and I get bit up in my sleep. Well, they make it all so. the way up to my room too. <sighs> Every once in a while, honestly, I actually have a mosquito net around my bed. I should just close it. Like, yeah, well, the dogs would tear it apart. Because I got a mosquito net around my bed, too, but I can't close it because dogs jump up and down. There's already uh, holes there. and stuff, but for the most part, they don't really sleep in my bed. Yeah. Like, if the fan's on. I think they just yeah. don't like it how loud it is or something. Yeah. Okay. So say bye, Mary. Bye. <laughs> We're gonna open up this creamy box. And the first thing I see is don't know what to make. First try one of these. Vanilla ice cream with chocolate chips. One ingredient fruit sorbet. Or a thick chocolate shake. Look at that. They've got a QR code for recipes. Of course, you got to register your product. Oh, they even got a YouTube. Oh. Here's your books. Oh. Quick start guide. I have a ninja. I'm sure it's just a blender like everything else. Wow, that's a pretty big recipe book. There's a lots of stuff in there. Wow. Mary's still sneezing. And there's your owner's guide. Okay. Bean's gonna inspect. Everything's all bagged up. So is that just a storage container? I imagine. Those are pretty big. I mean, I seen that when you're in Costco, everything looks small. Because <laughs> it's such a big store and everything comes in bulk. Ugh. Hard to do with one hand, people. Oh, plastic and everything came off. That's the back side. Oh. Okay. Mary, I need help. Oh, that's the heavy part. Me. She's not helping, she's just laughing. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. There it is. It's uh, sideways. That's pretty big. I and mean, when you look at it, you're looking at the front. It's pretty huge on the side. There's another QR code up here. Ooh. Probably another register thing. It's not on a level surface. Okay. I gotta go read instructions because that's probably locked in there okay we're gonna make some strawberry ice cream and some I 
to find my little things here. Some dairy-free coconut vanilla ice cream. And some dairy-free peach ice cream. So we've got three pint containers that come with the kit. And uh, we didn't start this early enough, so you're not going to see them finished. But we're going to... You know, do all the ingredients. The strawberry ice cream sounds, it's supposed to be an easy recipe, but it sounds like the hardest to do because you gotta, you know, keep getting after the strawberry mixture. But, um, yeah, you, all of these recipes, even your sorbets, everything looks like you have to put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours in the pint. Then the pint the next day goes into the creamy machine and, um, mixes it up makes it into an ice cream so so yeah you won't actually see us using the machine until Wednesday we'll probably put it on Wednesday's video so yeah because we'll have to do them tomorrow so we'll show you making the ice cream anyway okay I got all my my creamy containers they're all clean and I got my recipe book out here. First, I'm going to make the strawberry ice cream. So we got the ingredients out for that. Um, one thing I like about this cookbook is it gives you all kinds of alternative options. So we're using coconut cream instead of heavy cream. And we're using um, the agave syrup instead of corn syrup and monk fruit sweetener instead of uh, regular sugar. So, yeah, these are one pint each and like I said you mix everything up and then you put it together and put it in the freezer and then it blends it 24 hours later or you blend it 24 hours later so if you guys didn't see this trick last year I'm gonna show it to you again this is to core Hey, these are huge. Uh -huh. See? It just cores and tops those big, huge strawberries. Oh, <laughs> it helps if it's in the camera shot. It just cores and tops those. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, apparently I can't watch what I'm doing and do the camera at the same time. I don't have Mary here helping. That's just a big milkshake straw. Now we're supposed to cut these up. It says in the quarters, but these are your strawberries. So I'm just gonna cut them up. We need a, a cup and a half. That's a cup. That looks like about half. Yeah, and you probably want to make sure that your um, measurements are pretty precise because you you're, have a fill line that you're going to have to deal with on these cups. 
<laughs> we have an inspector. <laughs> so we got half a cup of the monk fruit. And a teaspoon of the agave syrup. Teaspoon of lemon juice. <laughs> My teaspoon is full of sugar. <laughs> and then this has to get stirred every few minutes for 10 minutes. We're breaking down those strawberries, I guess. Okay. We gotta mash all these strawberries. So it's been 10 minutes and it's been mashed a few times. And I think they want you to have the fruit mashed more than that. I don't know. See, see if it gets creamy. But there's a little bit more than two cups in here and that's that coconut cream. So I whisked it so it's all creamy. We're gonna add a cup to this side. I should have used a bowl with a, um, a spout on it because it's got to go in that creamy cup. Okay, and I picked the pink top for the strawberry. <laughs> you gotta watch that fill line. Put the lid on and that goes in the freezer for the next 24 hours and then we can blend it tomorrow. The next one is easy. It's a dairy-free vanilla, coconut vanilla ice cream. Now it says to use unsweetened full fat coconut milk, which is what we had out here. So we're making three recipes at a time. But it says 14 ounces and we, oh, we have uh, eight ounces or a little bit more, maybe 10. But it also says you can use some coffee creamer. We have the Italian cream. So I'm just using a few more ounces just to make up for what we don't have in there. And 
this one's going to be really easy. It's a teaspoon of vanilla. Coconut milk. And half a cup of the sweetener. Whisk it up. It says to whisk it until the sugar is dissolved. And then we pour it into our creamy pot. And that's it. That goes in the freezer for 24 hours. That went right to the line. <laughs> the last one we got a little bit more. Must have had a little bit extra strawberry in the last one. See that went right exactly to the line. Now the next one is a dairy free peach ice cream. So I've already got the almond milk in here, the, I'm just reusing my bowls and stuff since I'm trying to get this done quick. It's 9.30 at night, people. <laughs> so, so I've got the almond milk in there. It says to use a, an almond milk creamer for a, you know, like coffee cream creamer. But, okay. This one is a little different because we're, it said use a 23.5 ounce can of peaches. Um, these Kirkland ones are 24 ounce, but it wants it drained. Ugh. Things you learn when you got arthritis. Um, let me see. What am I going to drain it in? We're used to eating these peaches out of a bowl and then just drinking the juice. <laughs> <laughs> but it said to mill, mill, <laughs> fill the creamy container up to the maximum fill line with the peaches. Oh, it left a few. See? So fill it up to the fill line. That doesn't look like it because it's sideways. But yeah, fill it up to the fill line. So I guess we don't need a bowl. Oh, it said in a large bowl. We still have the remaining ingredients. Which is the cream. Two tablespoons. So oh, let me go grab a tablespoon. Give me a tablespoon. Tablespoons of the agave. And 
and a teaspoon of vanilla. You take that creamer mixture and you pour it up to the fill line. Oh, look at that. And it said if it doesn't fill to the fill line, um, add some more creamer to the top. My peaches are poking up there a little bit, so I think that's to the fill line. And there's our peach one. Okay. Now the instructions say that this, um, this Ninja Creamy is not a blender. I mean, it does blend these, but it it's got special instructions for if you want to do add-ins or, or you can't use frozen fruit um, right off the get-go or whole fruits um, you would have to read the instructions so there you go so there you go there's your Fred Meyer haul and and the ninja creamy thing um, you can tell we still got all the box stuff out here. I gotta figure out where to put that now. I have no counter space. Everything is covered. So, yeah, we really, really need to clean the house. So, yeah, so... Sorry I didn't think ahead of time. I did not know that you had to, you know, put those in the freezer for 24 hours. We figured it was just something, it's gonna, you know, cream it up, freeze, freeze it, and... Yeah, like like an ice cream maker. And it's not. It's not like an ice cream maker. You put the stuff in the freezer for 24 hours and then you cream it up. <laughs> so, so we'll see what it turns out like tomorrow. And then um, you'll have it on Wednesday's video when we cream them up. Oh, Mary, Mary was mad because she thought we were going to have ice cream or sorbet or, you know, some kind of frozen smoothie bowls tonight and and it didn't happen so I had some leftover strawberries and peaches <laughs> so we just made some uh, smoothie drinks uh, yeah <laughs> we guzzled those things down we were so thirsty I all the smoke is you know um, oh you didn't see that either that's gonna be in Wednesday's video yeah let me I'll close this out and then I'll go take a video of outside and uh, and yeah and we'll explain that on Wednesday's video we're surrounded by fires right now <laughs> so that's <yeah>, Fairbanks <laughs> all right see you later say bye Mary <laughs> yeah the video's not picking it up that's the Sun behind the smoke and to the naked eye, it is really, really, really red. Uh, so I'll take a couple pictures and see, see if it works. <laughs>